Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? Welcome to another live session of Roulette. Today we're continuing on round two of the strategy tournament. Our last session we did with the Dr. Roulette strategy it was a successful session. It did take about 55 minutes. We were behind. We clawed our way back. If you haven't seen that video, I do suggest you go watch it. It was a good one. Uh, but today we're going to continue on with the Rumple Stillskin strategy that we got from the CEG Dealer School. Now, before I get into how to play that strategy, for those of you viewing the first time, you can also see the first video, the first session in the description. I'll have the link. Uh, but before we get into that strategy and how you play it, let's take a look at the challenge chart. So we're at 96 bucks today. We're just going to try and make 10% profit. Uh, so just get to 105, 106. Uh, hopefully uh, it'll be a smooth session. Um, and before we get to the table, this is how you play the Rumpelstiltskin. Okay, guys, this is how you pay the Rumpelstiltskin roulette system. Very simple. You're betting six units. You're playing the corners. So you're playing six corners. The only rule is the corners can't overlap. You can place them where you want and you can move them every spin. So you can move them up and down, up and down, as you see here, as you want, based on how you see the numbers coming out. That's all there is to it. Uh, every win will get you three units. If you lose, you you can martingale if you did want to try and make up for that last bet. That's up to you. I think that's more of a feel how the game's going. If I martingale, I'm not doing martingaling more than one time. Uh, so that's how you play the Rumpelstiltskin roulette system. All right, guys, let's get into it. Actually, I'm gonna wait a hand. I didn't look at the percentages yet. No need to rush into it. All right, so 0%, 0%. So I guess it don't matter here where you play. We'll play here. That doesn't really matter either. We'll play up here. Seems pretty even all the way around. It doesn't really matter. Play up here. I'm glad I didn't play. I probably wouldn't have played that. I'm going to go up here. This is hot up here. We'll go down here. And then I'm going to go up here. So it's a three dollar. It's only a three dollar bet. You can mark and go. What I like is you basically make fifty percent up and of your your bet and one win. So. Ah. All right, so we're down three. I'm going to go in again. Uh, I'm going to double up. Hopefully we get a little lucky here. I'll double up one hand. If we get a win, then I'll go back down. We've had this column come out twice. Nice. Beautiful. 
All right, so that got us back to even. So we'll go back. To 50 cents. Try to get another win. Uh, that first column keeps coming out. I'm going to double up, try and get it back. I'll only Martingale once, then I'll start back over. The only thing is, if you get down in this strategy, you got to really claw your way back up. Nice. All right, good. We needed that win. That gets us to even. So we'll need a spin. I'm gonna set a spin out. So 16 came out, 10's come out, 16's come out twice. You got a lot of action on this column right here. Uh, Adeline, for those of you that like to know the names. Four. So that's good. I don't think, was I playing that? I think it was, all right, good. So now we'll play up here. I'm going to play up this one, play up here. I'm just playing that whole top column. Let's see if that's the right decision. <laughs> I'm betting, I mean, that column's come out three times in a row, so I'm kind of betting. 4, 16, 25. So I'm taking a little bet that it'll go up. Good. All right. Nice. Got a win there. So we'll split it up here. I'm going to go here. We're going here, here. We'll go there, and then there. Do 
Whoa. Nice. Okay, another win. So we'll switch it up. Go down here, there. We'll go up there, there. Nice, another win. We'll take it. All right, let's go again. Go down here, up here, go down here, and stay up there. So, I'll take a middle column. We, we haven't had the middle column in a while, right? 18, 3, nope, 11. I guess 11, though. Damn it, the coldest number came out. That sucks. Right, I want to double up here, try and make that up. I suppose you could Martingale two times. It's not a large amount. I feel like you don't want to get too far behind in this strategy. It's just too hard to make it up. So you definitely have to mourn go. Nice. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to sit out a hand. If zero is going to come out, I hope it comes out now. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Ah, that would have been a win. I was hoping it wouldn't be the middle column when I set out. <laughs> What your deal is? Mm. I'm gonna wait one more spin in case she rolls a zero. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times a new dealer comes in and they roll a zero. And her name's Lexi. For those of you who asked me to show you the names. Thank you. 
over to you. Um, we're waiting on number you guys is on. Have a lot of tea. Welcome to you. It's nice to see you. My guess is going to be right. Something right. Zero. <laughs> Three. All right. Good. I was going to play down here. So, fine. I'm fine with that. Now we'll jump in. I'm going to go down here. 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 So, that would have been a loss. Come on, we need five bucks. I think it will more and go up to two times. I just feel like if you get behind in this, it's, you're done. Well, not necessarily. Two. All right. Good. Get a win there. I'll take two all day. I'm just going to rebet this one. Three, six, three. So hopefully we get no more action up here. Come on, middle column again. I'll take middle column. Thirty-three. That's a hit. Beautiful. I think one more hit and we're golden. So. I'm gonna sit out of hand. I think I'm gonna sit out and wait for a column to come out three times and then try and get my last win. Actually, I don't even know. Maybe I don't need to do that. Come on, zero. I want zero of this hand. I'm gonna jump. Ah, forget. I'm jumping in. I would have would have hit my target if I just stayed in that hand. Thirty-six, beautiful, beautiful guys. Boom, we're at one hundred five. We're at target. Successful session. No complaints from me. We'll wrap it up on the other end. All right, guys, that was a successful session. Easy. We have. We didn't need to barn gamble more than one time. I was probably going to do up to two times. Um, successful session. Made the uh, nine bucks in 18 minutes. I like it. Uh, I'll be honest, like if you're going to play columns, I know a lot of you guys will play the two columns at a time. 
you're better off playing the corners uh, because you can move it around and kind of hit the hot numbers and, and avoid the cold numbers a little bit more. Uh, I think it's better than playing columns. Uh, any at any strategy that uses the columns would probably like the triple martingale ones. You could just use that one and double martingale. Like why play the columns? I don't know. Am I missing anything on that? What do you guys think? Why play the columns when you could play the corners and you're basically covering the same amount of space and it gives you a little more flexibility about covering the hot numbers and you don't have to triple martingale. You really only need to double Martingale on that bet to make to get back where you want. And you basically win half your chips and a win. I just think personally, I won't play the columns, two columns anymore. I'll just do the rumple. So if I take one of these dozens strategies and I play the dozens of columns, I'm not playing the columns. I'm playing when when I when it's a column play, I'm playing the rumple. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and the next session we'll do is the holy splits. I did like that session. It was a really fun session. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying that next time. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.